Welcome to my binding video. This is a look at Bind It All by Zutter, a personal portable wire binding machine. Perfect for crafting and scrapbooking, this Zutter Bind It All machine is great for the small project. It's solid, well built, easy to use, and has plenty of features to do a perfect job every time. It abounds with plenty of measuring tools and different ways to lock papers into position so the punch is consistent every time. Not only a punch, but a bind as well with easy step-by-step -step instructions. If you're new to wire binding, this is a great book filled with pictures and steps for different size projects, as well as tips and tricks for perfection. This is an additional tool to help you measure your wire size and set your machine, but we'll get to that later. Let's go step-by-step -step through binding a project. Both the right and left side have this little lock. You pull it down and it holds your paper in place for consistent punching. This first example is an oversized book, larger than the punch itself. But once you turn the paper around, load it right in this little tray that can hold and lock your paper in perfect position, you make your second punch, and you're all set with a complete row of punches across your paper. Another method for making sure you have consistent punches is to use this little pull bar. It pulls out, turns over, and acts as a fence on the right hand side. Once you've got your settings in place, you can begin with your covers. Punching one side, turning it around, using that same fence, and punch the other. Now everything is centered and the holes are perfect. It does take a little time to learn to navigate the whole machine and all of its measuring tools, but once you get it down with plenty of scrap paper, you'll be set to make great projects. You can continue to punch through your entire project, both outside and inside, in small batches. And when you're all punched, assemble your book together, it's time to bind. The Bind It All uses 3 to 1 pitch twin loop wire. That simply means there are 3 holes for every inch in the punching pattern. Zutter and other companies provide this wire. This tool is helpful in setting the closer stop, that way you don't overclose your wire. With most projects you'll do on the Bind It All, your wire will come too long for the project itself. Simply cut it with wire cutters or a strong pair of scissors and you're on your way. When you close a wire, it's going to make a seam. If you take the back page and flip it around to the front page so they're facing each other, then in the end, the seam will be hit between the back cover and the back page. Thread your wire through the project and with the C opening of the wire, place it down into the closer flat. And with the same lever for punching, you press to close the wire. Again, with this oversized book, you'll have to turn the project around and close the other side as well. And with that, you're all done. Flip the back page around to the front and you've got yourself a book and that hidden seam is right here between the cover and the back page. Next, we'll do a project that uses all the holes and no more. Perfect for uniquely bound journals, diaries, and photo books, this is very simple. All it takes is one time centering and hold the fence right in place and you're ready to go through your entire project. Punch through the covers, the inside, assemble your book together, you're ready to bind. You'll have to cut the twin loop wire again and thread it right through, place it open-ended down into the closer unit and make your close. If you'd like, there's a built-in foot on the back end of the machine that makes one-handed closing possible. It holds it more stable and in place. You can just begin to see the possibilities for this simple bind project. And finally, let's watch a very small project be done. This adjustable block is included with your purchase and hangs right over the fence. It folds into place, goes right into the gully, doesn't interfere with the pins, and can hold your paper in place perfectly so that your holes are centered and you don't use any more than you'd like. In this case, we're punching only four holes, we use a wire with four loops, and we close it up. And that's it. Binding your personal book and project can be done easily with the Bind It All by Zutter. For more demos, reviews, and how-tos, check out mybinding.com.